Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minecraft on the Block. This is the Desi Server mini series special, and this is part, I don't know, I think it's part six. I've lost track. Um, and Desi is actually with me. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. So we're actually going to go take a look. Let me let me do a quick. I'm looking at our uh, Desi cannot see because he's somewhere else, but I'm looking at the uh, enchanting room. And so the the problem that we have is twofold. One, I don't really know how I'm going to get the stuff in the ceiling because I don't think my redstone is tight enough. I don't think it's clean enough. And second. If I put the pressure plate right here, I don't actually have it with me, but if I put the pressure plate here, I've been informed that that takes up an airspace and that will harm the enchanting. Is that correct? Basically, you can't have any anything blocking the travel between the bookshelves and the enchanting table. And, and a pressure plate counts. Correct. Uh, what a lot of people will do is uh, if, like, for some reason... Uh, let's say you want to get like a level 30 enchant. You don't want to waste yourself with the higher up ones, but you want to keep all, you know, all the bookshelves down. People will put like, uh, like torches down to temporarily block it. Oh, so it's like tweaking the level. I gotcha. Correct. And each, each bookcase is uh, five levels. All right. So we're going to have to get clever with that. Maybe I'll do like switches for various levels. All right. So I am at spawn and you've apparently got, wow, things have changed at spawn. Have things changed at Spawn? Very much so. Yes. I mean, this is a massive, massive remodel, and, and what you're looking at is about halfway done. Nice. So this is this is a little village. There's Desi. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, these these are the Spawn shops, which are obviously remodeled from the last time you saw them. Uh, they still function that same way, but they also serve as houses for villagers, and come 1.3... If we decide that, you know, that the, there's a blacksmith and we want to keep him here in the arrow shop, we'll go in here, close the fence gate, and that'll trap him in there for doing trading. Nice. Gate him in. That's awesome. Yeah. And then if people get stuff from them that they don't want to use, they can just add it to the chest, which is in the floor. What's hilarious is how close my house is to this place. And I always thought I was so far away. Oh, dude, take your helmet off real quick. Take my helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One sec. <laughs> there that's, you go. That's the Desi Twitter face. That is. That's the pug face. All right. So let's do it. Where's the uh, subway? Subway is right over here. It hasn't been remodeled yet. Is it going to be remodeled? Yes. You can see kind of like I left myself a note when I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, um, and that's what I'm doing on the Taggart projects. If you would only watch my mod stuff then you'd be super oh impressed. if only you were a minecraft purist <laughs> uh, so i i was going to uh, i was going to ask you to install mo creatures on here but i figured that you'd just ban me so i decided not to i i'm not supposed to ban is ignore but yeah <laughs> all right wh whoa this is, i've never actually been down here believe it or not so this is my first what in the world are all these pressure plates just cool looking yeah they they cover up the pumpkins and with that without uh dissolving the light it's very nice all right Desi's hole. Let's do it. Is there two mine right. carts or do I need to make one? Uh, you should have some, some in the chest there. Okay. All right. You All lead right. the way. All right. Just this looks nice. Up on push. So the, the whole point is that everyone can connect to that, uh, connect to that subway. Right. Makes it easy for touring. This took forever. Surprisingly. I thought it would be like a half a day thing putting in all the brick in here. Oh, no way. Oh yeah. That's a long way. This is really smooth, though, for a server. I think it, I think it's extremely smooth. Thanks. I originally, this part of this goes under like a, a frozen lake, and I originally had glass there, but that's one of those things that's better uh, in uh, principle than in actual implementation. Because when you're underwater, all you can do is see blue. It's not like you can see like you know fish swimming by and sharks and things like that. Right. So. That was the problem I had in the uh, the original world, or actually maybe the yeah the original world when I tried to make that underwater. Oh yeah, that's right. You're seeing you're seeing like the water flowing. I remember that. Yeah, it sucked. All right, what are we doing? So this is the entrance right here. Very nice. Mailbox. You have any mail? No mail. No mail. What For, are you, uh, like, where are you going? Go oh, is your is your wait? Didn't we just come out of there? Nope, we came out of the subway entrance. Which is where? Why, how did I get lost already? 
<laughs> Should I come back up? No. Oh, it's over here by the tree. Okay. Never mind. I thought we were just going back. To, I thought you were like, okay, here it is. Thanks for visiting. No, these these two trees are a nod to the Princess Bride. You know, they have like the, the knot, you know, to go down. Into yes, the, uh... I do know. I was actually just considering letting my kids watch the Princess Bride, and I can't remember if it's like too scary for them. The only thing I can think of would be the R.O.U.S.'s. And, and that's yeah, that's, like. that's the only, or the eels, but that's kind of brief too. Yeah, the eels is a little scary. But nothing like dies. That's their big thing. They don't like to see things die, which is understandable. Yeah, okay, and the so way that your they do- thing is super simple. These just go up another level, correct? No. Go look at the sign. Flip around. Where's the sign? So, oh, right here. So right now with the enchanting table, it's it's blocking the the books, but it's really but it's not so much blocking the bookshelves as blocking the, the enchant enchanting table. So the table itself will only go up to five right now. Right. But so that flip- it's using oh, so it's not using any books, even though some correct. of them are putting runes in there correct it's because the because the table itself is blocked you're just getting the five which is honestly for like uh non-diamond stuff that's what you that's where i do most of the time okay so then you flip that lever right there and they drop and then you can get up to get up to 50 if you want ah you need an intermediate well, I personally don't because when you're going to fifty, it kind of you it gives you a range anyway. Yeah, it does. It does pretty good. But that would just be cool. It would be like nerdy. Yeah. Well, I mean, there are there are people that have done like modular stages, but uh, for what I wanted to do in here, that would just be you know way too complicated. So you saw? Did I show in the video yet where I tried to get the enchantment table to actually rise and it doesn't rise? Like you can't. Yeah, put you can't. It on you a can't piston. move it with a piston. That's yeah. lame. That is really lame. Yeah, so the concept to this is really, really simple. Uh, there's just uh, the redstone in the 3x3 three three directly underneath it, then feeding over here to the lever. I originally wanted to do, uh, like over here, like on the corner, this is, a, this is actually a bookshelf here, but uh, I wanted to do a pressure plate so that to, to accomplish the exact same thing that you did. Yeah. But... I found that uh, the same thing that you did, like sometimes the triggering would be off uh, and it, it just sucks. it just didn't work. Yeah, yeah it just uh, pressure plate implementations just, I don't know. They're, they're just not as good as they could be. Too much um, lag with the server. They don't, they're not as sharp. They're not even that sharp in single player. Plus, if you know, if you need to like grab some, I mean, most of my the stuff that I would need for enchanting are all within, uh, you know, mouse reach anyway, but if you need to like go grab something and come back, I know. You know. Yeah. And then it goes down and comes up and then it smashes you in half. If you, if you try to do the way I'm doing it. Okay. So the question is, can I use, so this doesn't help me at all. What, what is the redstone situation? You're saying the three by three is just covered with redstone. Yeah. It's but just, that's because it's acting on bookshelves that are directly next to it. Is that true? Well, the, the redstone is is directly underneath the bookshelves. Right, because these these blocks are what are being moved. Right. These, these wood blocks, and I'm trying Correct. to move the bookshelves themselves. Right, but the con- but the the principle is still the same. That the redstone would be directly underneath the pistons that are pushing the bookshelves. No, you run it next to it. Because well, remember that's the way the- I have it. Except that I had the, to use those stupid repeaters because when I put it right next to it, they all connected up all funky, I thought. Maybe not. And that's what I wanted you to see. So let's let's tear this open here. I don't want to do all of it, but... No, imagine. just give me a glimpse. I can't... I'm not able to conceptualize. I'm slow. Yeah, so this is exactly what I have, except for instead of that, I have repeaters i have the redstone one one more layer out and then repeat right here. which which you don't need to why is that why don't i need to it's just the way that the that the pistons work why did i have so much trouble i wonder why i had so much trouble because i had a lot of trouble and something that i figured out which i haven't actually seen in any video you know so there's a jack-o-lantern right there uh-huh yeah it, goes, the, it lights up through the yeah through the table yeah somebody told me that in a comment recently so, yeah, so uh, you, you don't have to have the redstone an extra layer out in order to have them coming in because they'll just work directly 
uh, next to the uh, the pistons. If I think this is the this is where you're experiencing it, it has to be at the level of the wood, because if the if the redstone uh, okay. is one down, I it think won't that, work. I think you're right. I think that is what I did wrong. I think I had the redstone down, and I'm running. It, so if you do that, you have to run repeaters into the pistons. If you're going to go down, like if we took this, right. whoops, if we took that block out right there, then we would have to uh, run repeaters into it. So that's the key. Correct. Okay. That makes and sense. And having one higher makes it actually uh, a shorter journey for you to do the ones on the top. Um, so the question now becomes, how do I do the top? Do I have enough room? Because I only have two blocks above what I want to. Yeah, I do, because I'm going to do it on the outside. Yeah, it just, it's just a matter of running. Uh, remember, vertical uh, vertical redstone, if you're using torches to do it, is in even numbers. So something to consider. Hop on. I want to see if I can launch you out of there. <laughs> All right. Oh, it just pushed me over. Oh, that's All right. Try again. Was... Try again. Try again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, oh, I'm actually it. in it. I know. I oh, see. weird glitch. That happened to me in uh, in my first season in that library that I made whenever I would have, like, just be randomly falling through. It's a redstone thing, I think. All right, so that's very nice. Okay, so that helps. That'll help me with my top. So if I do the top, I'll have upside-down pistons. I will put the... Ah, oh, but see, I'm concerned. If, it, if they're upside-down, the redstone has to be at the level of the top of the piston, correct? If it's upside-down, I think... I think it's still at the wood level. I have I I put it on I the couldn't. bottom. That's going to be interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to go find um, out because I'm going to do it right this very second. But I want to take and a, go ahead. I was going to say uh, B double O in his single player uh, has verticals in there, so you can see how he did it. Oh, cream sand is end stone. I'm going to need to get some end stone for sure. That's good building material. Have you done anything with that? I haven't done anything with it yet, but I. Uh, I've been debating going back and just kind of loading up on it because I, I I like the look of it. It just kind of looks like moon rock to me. So the question is, why do you live underground? That's the real question. So I was uh, I've I've always built above ground, and I am a horrible uh, exterior designer. Like I design by function, which is why this doesn't look great. And I saw when Etho went into the cave, and I thought, oh, that's great. And so this was original, like this connects to like a big caving system. And then I realized, no, I don't like worrying about mobs coming in. And I had this idea to have everything that I needed in one spot. So there's extreme utility here. Yeah, that's kind of the way that I'm approaching my uh, my tagger projects with that one like really small workshop. I'm trying to have everything within that one spot. So you can see over here, there's a, you know, the brewing station. Yeah, I you saw can that. refill water bottles and not drain the water um, to access to my mine. Um, I grow trees right here. Nice. So I can grab like... So you just can, you can just not ever leave. So what do we got here? Exactly. I don't have to. Okay, that's actually my favorite part. So leave it. So read, read the sign there. Yeah, I got it. But, okay. But wait a second. Just stand there for a minute. You'll find out why. Okay, so I. So don't flip the lever. Just oh, stand there. Don't flip the lever. Yeah. See. Oh, nice. So if you rather than attacking them, you let them build up, and then you pull the lever, like the sign says, you pull the lever. Oh, wait and 10 then it. Hits. Yeah. Yeah. But so it crushes them. Do you get? But you don't get the experience for that. You do if you wait ten hits. Oh, you, you do. Hit, but, you know. You can hear it actually do the 10 hits. And then hit him in one shot. Nice. You can just not waste, not waste your weapon. That's excellent, dude. So you just built below a spawner. Yeah. And as far as I can tell, it is not actually possible. So wait, do, how do you get them started? How do I what? They just, they're just always going. Like if you're over is, here, if you're if you're standing here, they're they're spawning. Yes. So what I did was, is when I was exploring the cave and I found the skeleton spawner, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and you pick the level by looking at uh, when you're standing directly underneath the spawner. At uh, what's the farthest away you can stand and still have it 
activate. Nice. So this way, it's not like you're in the base and it's continually going. It only goes when you're inside to the right of that jukebox. Dude, dude, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to do something like that. That is brilliant. And then in here, you just walk in. Um, there's a, this chunk over here is where slime spawn. Nice. And I've got tons of those. I think you, I liked your little house in the last place. I think you should do some building outside. You need, you need something you can show. I mean, this is cool, but you need like. You need some building you can show off. I think you're Oh, like the, not, the spawn's not good enough for you. <laughs> well, no, the spawn the spawn is actually extremely good. I forgot about that. I don't well, credit well, which, that to you. <laughs> like which which uh which, which liked, house are you talking about? I liked about? your little house on the island in the first one. Cuz see, I'm all about I'm really a utility builder. I mean, that's why my stuff is never symmetrical. It's never That's my that's my thing too. I think that you would come up with things that look fantastic. Well, the, last the spawn one, looks great. Wasn't or maybe the, uh, it was the one before that. No, it was the one where I built in the desert. You had that little. Didn't you have a house on like a little island by the spawn? Okay, so so this is the the third and final world that I'm ever going to do. Correct. The, the second world, my house. I actually had a house and it was on an island and it was just like this but smaller. Yeah. And the outside was covered in wool to to look like a giant slime. Oh, that, I don't think I saw that part. I don't think I ever got that you, far because I stopped I remember playing. When you after first I got on the server, you said, uh, "Who's? What did you say? Who's got the? What, what's what's with the treehouse?" And it's because I started it off like as like a chicken coop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then the first the first world was the uh, my house was way far away, and that was the one that um, that was the one that uh, killed mobs. Right. It was the mob swallowing house. Yeah, and it looked like a pug. The uh, the train station was a pug. Yeah. Is it, yeah, that's what it was. The train station. Yeah. So, you want to see my favorite part of this whole house? I do. Let's do it. Well, I like the uh, the melon breaker thing too. That's very nice. And the middle one is uh, pumpkin. Uh, yeah. Click right. Click the ceiling. Where at? Oh, is the whole thing a crashing table? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Anywhere I am in here, I can make what I need. No, that is pretty brilliant, dude. These are all very cool things. And then uh, this is where I can cook stuff, too. It's nice and out of the way. All right, so I've got some inspiration. Oh, this right here? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very nice. This is very nice. I don't like... Well, it's not that I don't like it. I I want, like, a fancy room for the... For the... This thing. I think that yeah. you should somehow get this thing to be even less intrusive because everything else in here is like not a, it's like like this like this whole ceiling being made of crafting yeah. tables that's brilliant no torches yeah no to yeah no <laughs> torches it's very very non intrusive that you should do something with this why didn't you just make this at oh, I guess you can't you couldn't make it at well like the reason floor level with, right well you could you could you have to have double extending pistons yeah exactly pistons on and pistons. right and the way that that would have to work is uh i would have to run redstone through the bookshelves and hide them and hiding them is the hard part that would be interesting though i think you should do it that's that's the <laughs> one spot in here that isn't like level I think you should do it and show me how. All right, I'll give it make a shot. It, make a tutorial. <laughs> Let's go look at your mine. All right. I do like the pumpkin light. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of the uh, the jack o' lantern. So what are we at? We're at six point six. Eh, we're like basically totally bedrock. Yep. Get down to bedrock, and that's where that's where I go. So what I do is is it's everything's based off of fives. So you can see, like, you can ride rail, same as same as the uh, subway. Yeah. And then whenever I hit, you know, whenever a tunnel gets un in impassable, I put a cobblestone down to let me know. But also, it, gives, it also means I can get back in if I need to. Right. So these are why fives? Why not every two? Uh, because uh, chances are, anytime you find ore, you're going to be going in two or three deep anyway. And so it gives you the... Di you bridge the gap anytime you find ore anyway. Okay. And the real reason is, is because when you're mining, uh, you can, you can reach five. 
So it makes it real easy to stand in one spot, hold, and go five, five, and then throw up a torch. Yeah. And you also guarantee no uh, mob spawning as well. I wish I had a magic way to tell you how many diamonds you missed in here because you didn't, you didn't do every two. Because <laughs> I guarantee you missed some diamonds. But you probably got a lot. I'm not short. <laughs> I like this too. I'm big on branch mining though. I like very neat and tidy branch mines. This is nice. Where are you at? Are you still back? <laughs> yeah, I went back up. It's totally, it's crazy, the whole fog. Yeah, this is sweet. So what else you got? I think that's it. I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something. But well, I your work, your the main work that you've done is at the spawn, yes? Yes. All right, let's go back and look at that. Because I got to go do this thing again anyway. I'm very, I'm very motivated. I'm excited to try to get my stupid crafting or my enchanting room done. Do you yeah, want me to come is, with you? Well, no, well, you totally can, but I'm probably going to go. So I have the kids. I'm surprised they've left me alone this long. It's without, well, they could totally come down, but Ryan's sick and he would be hacking, coughing bad. So mm. they're watching Lala Loopsy Land or something on Netflix, which is why I was concerned that we would actually have issues with your with your uh, voice coming across, but it's not breaking up at all. So you'll notice that my house is the only jungle tree in the area here. This is all man-made. In a non This is not an actual... Yeah, this is not, the not, this is not a forest here. This was all done by me. Nice. Um, so your house... Oh, what's over is, there? Is the, are we right by the spawn? No, we're not far. Like, that's the spawn trees, right? No. No, no that's this, your trees. That's... that's Red's uh, snow town, which so that bridges the gap, the the distance between uh, me and the spawn. Okay, but this is um, where I've used this, I think, before. Yeah, your house is is just right over there. It's this way. Yeah, it's just right over there. Well, screw yeah, it. We, we don't need to go to the spawn then. Okay. Unless there's something cool we, to see. There's definitely cool stuff, but we'll go back there later. Yeah, you can actually just follow this water. <laughs> it takes you right to your house. <laughs> nice. So who's the, who built up there? Uh, not sure. I think that, I think Taylor did, but he hasn't been on and, and I haven't seen him in months. He, he was on relatively recently cause he left me signs Oh, while I was gone. Wait, Taylor? Yeah. Taylor JDB. No, no. I think that was, um, came in, came in did too, but yeah, but so did Taylor. I'll show you. So when I came over looking for the stronghold, this is the way that I went. Yeah, it's you. really close. It's ridiculous. I don't know why I thought I was so far away. I thought I was so... Because it's because I walked for like an hour. That's why I thought I was well, so far away. Well, your first video in the series, you started off in, in Red's snow town there and just kind of wandered off. I know. I don't even remember how you decided on this. Oh, there's some new stuff here that I haven't seen yet. I know. I, yeah, there probably <laughs> is. Probably in videos that haven't been released yet, so yes. I won't say anything. No, it's okay. That's what that's what we're here for. So we're because this one will just be in the series. This will just be like whatever after whatever the latest one. Oh, that's you know uh, something that if you remember the uh, the spawn had some fountains. Yeah, and that's not something I'm ever really good at, but that's that's pretty tight. I kind of like that fountain. It's yeah, it's just simple. I think it needs some I, contrast. I'm going to put some some different materials needs? in here. Do a water orb right on the top, like glass, like yeah, like almost yeah. like a small little yeah. globe filled yeah. with water. I could do that, and I could even make it kind of yeah, kind of like what what, what would it be? It would be like octagonal yeah. orb. Yeah, and if you want, put a floating jack o' lantern to make it glow. That'd well, be so I'm definitely going to put a globe right in the bottom, or not a globe, a lamp right in the bottom, and then yeah, okay. one at the, one at the top would be fantastic too. Yeah, I haven't really. This was just the first attempt to get some like to actually get the lines. And what I'm thinking about doing is is switching these out to make them on the corners. But anyway, what I was my, yeah, what were you gonna say? Well, what I don't like about it is it's too monotone. I need to add some some contrast, but I don't really know what to do because not very much goes well with like the hardness of this stone. You can't well, put like wool. Yeah, and they they haven't. Uh, made it so, I mean, they could have in the, one of the snapshots or something, but as of the release version, you can't mix and match 
uh, half slabs. Slabs, I know, which sucks. Uh, but what you could do is just to match your wall over there, uh, take out these bottom ones and put in the stone brick. Or what I was thinking about doing is taking out the bottom ones and putting in lamps. Because those are kind of darker colored, aren't they? The redstone lamps? Yeah, they are. They're kind of a brown. I mean, I'm biased. I... I take on the philosophy of no torches, so I would I'd be agreeable with that. Well, I'm um, definitely going to try to get rid of. Well, I like some torches. Like I like torches in this town; they fit. But they make I it medieval, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a medieval look. But I, I definitely agree. Like in my house, I'm not going to have many torches. At you least don't have not to have for. I mean, for lighting in here, you don't have to have have it be in these in these pillars here. I mean, you could have it in the water. Well, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put one right in the middle, right here. Okay. For sure, but I was oh, just kind of thinking yeah. about other things that I could do because, like the dark, I don't think the dark wood looks good with the only thing that looks good with these brick slabs or the uh, smooth stone slabs is brick. It's well, maybe nether. I don't know. I don't. Know. I haven't tried nether brick. Well, nether brick. You know what? Yet. Call me crazy, but we're in. I you know <laughs> we're we're an eye shot of your giant tower over there, right? Correct you could do a little bit of a contrast where you have nether brick on the top of that, have nether brick on the bottom of this. Yeah, that'd be and nice. Then it, would re- then it would really pop. And I think what like, I would do in that case is raise it. Or what I was thinking, though, is you replace the bottom here as opposed to the stone brick, put yeah. in nether brick on the floor. Oh, you're saying the whole floor. Yeah. Because then that would make this, then that would make the whole fountain structure itself just really pop. Because see, it's kind of running right into it right now. And it looks very bland and washed out. It does. Maybe the fountain itself. I think the fountain needs to be Ooh. a little taller. I think it feels too and squat. Then, um, maybe one or two higher. I I would agree. I like the height that this is here. The where, the part where you can walk into. Yeah. Don't change that. Maybe go up higher on the the, the middle part. Well, but, it'll um, it'll be taller when we put the dome on there. Oh yeah, that's true. But I think what you could do is is take those iron bars out and put in a nether fence and make that too high, and that'll give you your height and a little bit of a contrast. Oh, that's that works. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, I'm never. I'm not a huge fan of nether brick because I think it's it, unless you have your screen brightness all the way up, it's just so muddled. It is dark. Yeah, but you have to use it sparingly. But I do like using it every once in a while. You know what? I actually like the uh, the tower that Paul Soares built um, in his newest. I haven't actually watched his stuff in so long, but he built his his like tower of power. And he used a lot of nether brick, and it looks really good. And that's what actually got me really turned off to it, because I'd always wanted to see a, like a big warlock tower, like he did. But it's just it's so washed out. Yeah, it's a but little. Me, it is a little washed out. I like how Etho does it, as far as like using it as like an accent. Yeah, exactly. Um, he has it in his walls like as a stripe, but in here, oh, that looks. It's not bad. Yeah. I actually, and I really like it on the tower. I don't know if you've seen, if you look at the tower up close, I have the support beams on the side. You can't really tell from this angle, but that made a huge difference. But I had to go back for more. I had to steal more uh, nether brick fence from the fortress. Well, there's like, um, from the nether spawn, there's like a, there's a fortress that's like right there. And then I found another one kitty corner to it as well cross like if you like go down like you're gonna go to it but then go drift over to the right and go around the lava there's like a another uh another fortress there. i wonder if that's the one that i found if it, it might have a portal in it well the <laughs> the uh um if you in the nether spawn there's actually like uh, a walkway that takes you straight to like i set up a a, a blaze farm and it takes you right to the nether. i fortress. saw yeah i saw that for sure yeah that's where I was last time. I had trouble getting back. I got lost trying to get back. All right, what else? That's why I, I put torches show? on the ground. Um, well, we were going to go right to your enchanting. Yeah, room. let's go check that out. Okay. I'm really excited. My whole, I'm well, I'm excited, and I keep like putting off starting on my house. That's really the whole point of this this entire thing. Oh, do you see my uh, my farm? You probably haven't seen my farm. That was something that I saw when we walked over. That I I was like, oh, that's new. Yeah, it here. is. It's going to be. It's not done yet, but it's going to be cool. Now, what's with all the wood over here, anyway? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. You're going for, like, that whole Western... I was going to do, like, I wanted, like, a Western town, yeah. Yeah. I kind of actually like the way the town is turning out. I don't... This roof right here, I don't love. I'm going to do something about this, but... The one I'm standing on? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I I was like, that's kind of uh, gross. This this is just too big. 
I like the um, the slabs with the gravel. Yeah, it looks that nice. That looks really good. Yeah, it looks nice. I'll probably put some bricks out here in front of the butcher shop. This is going to be the butcher. It's just that it's all one tone, though, for this uh, building. Which one? Yeah, this the, one? This, yeah, it's I just know. all one tone. I know. I haven't revisited this one. That's That was my biggest concern. Like the rest of them, that's why I broke it up. But this one well, is 1.3 will dull. really help you with different colored uh, slabs. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of why I'm waiting. Uh, but I do like the town; it's coming together. It's not supposed to look great. It's supposed to look like, you know, this is not where people spent their time. They put this together so they could build the giant mansion on the hill. That's why they did it. And see, that's where that's where my base comes from. Is it's you know it's underground. It serves no purpose other than it's just pure function to right. allow me to go build elsewhere and right. so since i since this you know since i started here my sole purpose is to build the spawn so effectively spawn is my house right um something that you didn't that we need to make sure that we check out is the uh, the tower that i built there which the wooden one in, right no that's reds that's in snow town that's reds i always think i always think that red stuff is your stuff i think for some reason who yeah, is red's red a, anyway red's just a guy he's been around for a while yeah, he gotta, was in the last world. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember anybody though. Yeah. So I gotta finish the stupid stairs. I hate the stairs. Yeah, so first come look at uh the sign. We'll definitely want to check out that tower because it's uh, inspired by your bridge here. Nice, let's go check it out. You'll see why. So oh, this is kids. Taylor. Yeah. Huh? That's from Taylor, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, and he it was just last last week within the last week. Huh. All right. He comments, I think he comments on the videos and stuff, but I haven't seen him. Okay, I, don't know I lost you. Where'd you go? Oh, sorry. I'm over here at the uh enchanting room behind you. Other behind you. There oh, you oh, the glowing room. Okay, yes, gotcha. It's below sorry. the glowing room. So I, have, I get to it through the glowing room. You just take the yeah, take the bridge. Yep, right here. Uh, okay. So of course you don't have rails on here. Oh, I will. This is this is the least finished area of everything. This is totally function at this point. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a lever that raises and lowers these. And since this is done, I'm not even going to worry about it. Like I wasted a bunch of those, but who cares? So this works, but I'm going to have to do the same thing up top. And so what I'm going to do, why does it sound like blazes? Doesn't it sound like blazes? <laughs> or is it just me? All right. I'm not hearing it. I mean, the only sound that uh, you can hear is the, uh, the portal, portal. Or, the, or the torches, yeah. the uh, netherrack burning. Um, oh, you can so hear netherrack from here. That's right. That's why it sounds like blazes. So you're wanting to raise the bookcases and not the floor. So you're doing an inverted version of what I did. Well, exactly. But what's imagine this, you're going to step into the room. I'm going to put, I uh -huh. guess I'm going to have to put the, the lever in the ceiling. You're going to hit the lever and the, these, these will come up and the others will come down and you'll be completely enclosed in this little room. Sure. Right. So you don't, you won't yeah. be able to see anything and there'll be a light, a single light in the center of this room. So at this height, so at, at this height right here, that'll be mm -hmm. the ceiling, right? And then mm -hmm. the the bookshelves will sit there. No, actually, the bookshelves will sit here. This will be the ceiling height. Bookshelves well, will sit there, and then they'll come down. Creeper. Where at? Right outside. I don't know if he can get in here. Probably. Oh, you know, he <laughs> he's climbing the mountainside over here. Is he pathfinding? <laughs> He's they, trying to get to us, yeah. These oh, guys he, periodically like just show up. Um, so if we don't take him down, he's going to end up in our back pocket. Let me see. So where you have this bottom dirt here, that's actually this. That's not wood level. That's going to be that's going to be stone level as far as the. No, oh, no, that, no, 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 that'll right. be no, bookshelf. I'm, yeah, that's right. That's going to be. It'll come open. down. Yeah. It'll basically be exactly like this until you hit the lever, and then this is going to come then, down. Boom, right. So what you're going to want to do is all so, of this area here is going to remain open, yes? Well, Where you and I both are? Yes, but this will have to be closed in. In fact, I don't even know if it's possible to do what I want to do. Can I put the redstone on the inside? 
Uh, well, or can I run the redstone on the, like on the pistons it's themselves, like on the top of the pistons? I don't think you can without doing some trickery to make it happen. Let me go see if I can. Let me go get a piston real quick. Um, regardless, though, you're gonna want to have this area, this open area here, that's facing out to the where hold you on, are. I, hold on, I can't see you because I'm getting a piston. Sure. You come out here look at one of your bridge pillars. What's that? When you come out here, look. I know. Okay, see, they all, there's, there's creeper, always just, creepers and zombies and crap on there all the time. Just, just he's just chilling. That's why I he's haven't just, lit it up because I like it. All right, let's see. I'm gonna get a lever. Okay. Whoa, crap! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking. What happened? What I got a do? creeper. What? Yeah. Oh, I feel bad. I was busy shooting the other one. <laughs> he just totally. It was probably that same stinking one. I knew. Hold on. Son of a stinking hey Jesse, creepers. Why don't you build a, why don't you build a structure above ground? <laughs> <laughs> That's my first serious accident. Okay, so let me see. The chests are definitely gone. Hold on. Gotta get new chests. And I don't think I have any wood. Dang it. What, am, wood. what am I gonna do? Give me like three pieces of wood if you got it. Yeah, where are you? I'm over in my cave in my mine. With a bunch of crap laid on the ground. I, your structure is okay. You're back where you were. Okay. Yeah, it would me. Oh, and I lost one of the signs. I have to remember what it was. What it said. Surprisingly, though, that I only lost one sign. He was standing right here in the door when he blew. All right. Let's see. See, that's why uh, everything that I do is, you, you know, it's lit with pumpkins and half slabbed, so there's no spawning. Well, no. that's, I mean, I've got a, a lot of stuff. Uh oh, kids are coming. Um, I've got a lot of stuff lit, but the problem is that they, they are so good at pathfinding now that they come from everywhere. Like, like I think that was that creeper that we saw down below. I don't know. That was pretty soon after. But, you know, this kind of, this is kind of what I was experiencing in my cave. Was I was. Hold on. <laughs> Ry, Ry, come here, buddy. You want to say hi to Desi? Can you say hi, Desi? Hi, Desi. <laughs> Did you hear him? <laughs> yeah. All right. You want to sit on my lap? All right, we're talking to Desi. You can talk to him if you want. We just got blown up by a creeper, though, so we're not very happy. Now, he's he's not my fan, though, right? Alex is the... Alex is your biggest fan, for sure. Yeah. He's still upstairs watching Lala Lula. What are, what are you guys watching? Ry, Ry, what were you watching? La la lula. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I okay. I, I'm so I'm so flustered now. I wonder how much stuff I lost. Not much, I don't think. Okay. There's a floating sign out here. I know. That was K-Man's sign. Hmm. You know this. It's you know you've seen like all those uh, those donator walls, right? Uh huh. You should do a visitor wall and turn this turn this whole clip this whole wall side here. Make it look like the. Uh, uh, which you oh, the, your uh, chest got blown up. Oh well. Yeah, no. The, uh, the, the Vietnam War Memorial. Yeah, like the be War like Memorial. All obsidian. I just wanted to yeah. let people like do whatever they like. I'm just gonna leave. Do you want to get down, bud? Okay. Can you do like an, put the whole thing in obsidian and make like a visitors wall, so when people come here, they could post signs. No, that would be a brilliant idea for sure. I what I was gonna do is just like make it a place. Obsidian would be a good idea. I was just gonna let people put whatever they want. Like this, I love this. Like the. I'm just going to leave all this crap. Kids. And your sign, I can't even remember what it said. We'll have to recreate that. I'll go back and watch the video. All right, let's go over here again real quick. Okay. So I have... This is going to be a super long video. This is fun, though. We should do this more often.